guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope and pray that you guys are all happy safe and healthy for today i am going to share to you how to use google drive google drive is another feature of google wherein you can save all your files in the past we usually use usb we usually use external disk to save all our files especially for us teachers and students but for now it is easier now because we have what we call Google Drive and before we continue with this discussion if you are new in this channel please don't forget to like and click the notification button and don't forget especially to subscribe so you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video all right so let's move on Alright guys, so the use of Google Drive is to save files and share it easily. It's very easy to share files if your files are in the Google Drive. So let's move on. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to Google search and in here you will automatically, if you already have your email, you will automatically have it here. You can see you have Gmail images and these are the google apps so you just open click the google apps and you can see in here we have here account search max youtube place news gmail meet google meet contacts and drive calendar translate photos duo shopping but we only need this one drive google drive so you just open you don't have to download this one if you have internet you can just open it okay so when you click this you will be directed in this page okay so in here you have here the features my drive shared with me recent stared trash so my drive this is for your personal shared with me these are the files that were shared to you if someone shared a file using your email it will auto automatically goes in here shared with me recent meaning to say if there is someone who shared or if a file you sent recently it will appear in here okay trash these are the files that you have thrown already there you go so let's start let's try to open my drive okay my drive okay so in my drive i already have already have a folder named classroom see i have grade 1b grade 1 english grade 1 english rows grade 1 science tulip these are my folders under classroom i can upload and put in for if this is for grade 1 and then i can upload and put it in the section that i want if you want to have your own personal file you can make a new folder just click wait i'll show you okay so we are in my drive so you want to make a new folder you can click here new uh, folder or you can right click it will appear also here so you can just do that and then right here maybe you can say my files okay create and then it will automatically appear in here you can see my files okay so maybe inside your files you can say uh certificates certificates maybe if you have certificates under your file you can just upload here so let's say for example i have okay or let's say in my classroom i want to upload in grade 1b for example let's see so you need to open this one and then go here file upload okay you so you need to go first to the uh folder that you want you open it now i'm in grade 1b and then file upload then you can see it will automatically direct you to the to your computer file so for example let's say here i will be going here and i want to pdf documents 
let's say worksheet so i will put worksheet number one and then open okay let's see it's already uploading pdf so there you go see you it, it's it's here already so for example if i want to share okay let's see if i want to share this one I want to share to someone or to my students in case I want to share this. Okay. Let's do it again. So you will see. You just go to the file, right click, see, preview, open with, share, share, get link, add shortcut to drive, move to, add to, rename. Okay. Let's say rename. Let's rename it. After that, we can share. So at least you will see how to share it. Okay. Worksheet number one. Grade 1B. Okay. Now you will see it appear here, right? Okay. What if I want to share this worksheet? Maybe I want to share to my other co-teacher or maybe to my student. You just right-click. You will have here preview, open with, but our goal is to share only. So we go in here, share, click share. Then you can write, okay, I have here my, okay, let's say, Crystal Sun. Okay. You can write a note. Here is grade one, B. There you go. So you just sent, there you go, person added. So meaning to say it was shared. There you go. So let's check in my email if we have Crystal Sun because I sent in my email. So let's check in here. You can see shared with me. There you go. You can see right worksheet number one, grade one B. This is the worksheet. If you want to open, if you are the receiver, you can just open Google Docs or you can just download here. It's easy. Just click download. As easy as that. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to here. What if I want to share a video? Let's say you want to upload a video okay so let's go to the file to your computer let's say you want to share a video to your uh, students or to anyone you go to google drive and then in here you open where do you want to put under so you need to put here Japan okay create okay so you have already three folders here classroom japan my file so you can just click japan and then click new and then upload file you need to click the upload file see? and then you will be directed to desktop to your desktop and then you may find beautiful japan beautiful japan there you go and then open look you can see in here it's uploading already it's really very easy to use this one because it's shareable you can just share it before we used to share it via email right because it's too big because the files are too big they will direct you to google drive if your if your files is a bit small you can share it via email you can send it via email but if it's too big it will uh direct you to google drive see it's it's downloading so let's just it takes time and then okay you can see right the recent uploads or the recent sharing that you you did a while ago you received it's here that's it it's so easy or if you are a principal if you want to share a document a pdf you can do it exactly what we did a while ago it's the same 
just add just share okay let's say for example you already have here you already uploaded the file right okay okay let's say this is the file you want to share just click like just right click and then here you can also get the link you just okay let's do it get a link there you go see you already have the link and if you want to restrict this from someone you can just put here you can choose who can edit they can edit or they can comment or they can view if they can edit then you can you, you need to give them permission to edit also you can just copy link and then add and then click editor I can put there as viewer, a commenter, an editor. You need to just choose from here. They can edit, meaning to say you need to click editor. If they just want to give your comment, to give a comment, then just commenter, viewer. They can just view, but they cannot edit. You can click viewer and then click send. That's it. As easy as that. Cancel, cancel. Okay, let's check the download. See? download is complete so we need where did we put again a while ago in japan so we open japan let's see if it's here boom there you go you can see it's here beautiful japan now i want to play can i just play directly you can also copy this one actually in order for you to have a copy if you want to sh share it you need to copy first so you just do like this copy make a copy and then share so at least if you share it you will have a copy of it now let's try to open then you need to download first download anyway you need to download first before you open so it's see you it's it's downloading there you go guys so that's the way how to use google drive it is very helpful to use this one because if your file is so big you can share it easily only the waiting time for downloading that takes time it depends on your Wi-Fi connection and you can use this one in your uh, daily activities even if you are not a teacher even if you are not a stu student if you are a professional if you are a working mom wherein you want to save files you can use this one because using usb and external drive there's always a possibility for virus so what if your usb has a virus cannot be open then your file is gone already so this google drive is safe because uh if you your usb it's not working but you you have downloaded or you have uploaded your file in the google drive you can always open it whenever you have wi-fi connection that's the positive thing about google drive and if your file is so big google drive is best to save your file and that's all for today thank you for watching and if you are new in my channel don't forget to like click the button below share subscribe and click the notification button in order for you to be notified every time i uploaded a new video thank you so much and see you in my next vlog don't forget to stay happy and healthy